I gotta say, Mo, there's a pimp sneaking up on you. I got him. Oh, I got a little on your face. I'm sorry about that. I was trying to give you some positive reinforcement. I was gonna say uh, that's some great toothbrush movement you got going there. And as we always say, shoesers are for losers. What's up guys, welcome back to Paint the Town Red. Uh, that game where there's always a strong outbreak of stupid among the NPC community, and as a responsible adult, I do my best to strongly encourage their heads to socially distance from their bodies. Our first level for today is called Concrete Jungle with Zombies, and as you can probably tell from my active hands, the zombies seem to not care all that much about the fact that we lock the door. Will you calm down, you putrefied Houdini? You don't want this fight, trust me. I've got a friend in me. I'm looking surprisingly slim. Like, upper body is really giving way. It might be because I'm not wearing my cape. I guess it's in the wash. Or I just decided not to wear it because it's gonna need to be washed once we're done with this. Okay, listen, that's uh, enough from you. Okay. Maybe we just don't answer the door? These Jehovah's Witnesses are getting out of hand. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. They're figuring it out. Is this supposed to happen? Are they just breaking through? I mean, I, I can't even really go out there and meet them, right? Like, I, I don't know if there's a red key around here anywhere. I don't think there is. So I guess I just have to wait for them to continue phasing through stuff. Wait a minute. I can swing through the wall. Okay. If you want to help, you know, just chip in at any time. No? Okay, cool. Let's see if I care. Come on, there's got to be a freaking red key here somewhere, right? I got to... There we go. Okay, hold on. Let me just get... Get get it. Get, get it. Why, why would we keep it on the top shelf? Ow, it's a hard to reach shelf. <laughs> hey, Captain Sauce, can I get a boost? Come on, oh my God, it'd be easier just to fight through the friggin' wall. It's surprisingly difficult to fight enemies when you're not 100% sure where they are. Sometimes you can see them, but then other times it's like this weird game of battleship. Oh, I'm looking for like G7. Miss, holy crap, okay, uh. B four. Uh, crap, crap. Okay, I think I think that's a hit. That's a hit. Listen, I don't care how much of a pouty face I'm being. You're being. Either way, I'm opening the door. Do you want the knife or do you want the hammer? I'm gonna give you the knife. There we go. That got him up and running. Now open sesame, and then uh, I'm sure the door will. Work perfectly fine. Wow, really sucker punched that one zombie, didn't you? <laughs> All right, let's do this. Here we go. Do you have a female voice? Am I losing my mind? Okay, you go back and get a weapon. I'm gonna go this way. No, no, I think I'm gonna go back to my bed. Where, where you, oh crap, no, he's going for it. All right then, <laughs> let's see it. You know what? I kind of just want to watch me cold cock a bunch of zombies because, like, how could you not enjoy this? Oh, right in the nose? Come on, hit him, hit him. Okay, fine, I, I got that I got that one, I got that one. You get the other ones, they're, they're all you. Why are there so many zombies? Stop it. Okay, maybe we get smite, we can deal with them pretty quickly. I, I would say that we could just clear them out. Uh, the weapons are gone. All right, well, you know what, they're smushy enough. I like the fact that you can actually adjust to bad guys in this game to the point where zombies do feel like they're kind of rotting away. You know, you kick them and they explode, but then other times you can make armored people feel like they're borderline invincible. What are you doing with your headphones on? Okay, uh, Sauce, step back. Might, might want to step back. If I accidentally click on you, that's God's fault. This is an act of God. I'm not the one shooting laser beams right now. Uh, might want to close your eyes? Do, do you have, I don't think he has eyes. I'm just kind of side strafing and hoping for the best. Oh, my bad. That's my bad. I tried to avoid you, but I sure didn't. He's still fine. Holy crap. See what I mean about adjusting enemies? Oh, I missed so many of them. I don't think there's any weapons left. 
Unless I'm gonna hit them with a face-melting drum solo, then we might be screwed. Even though the numbers are going down, are they fighting one another? Is Saw still alive? I don't know about this. I think he's still going. Okay, uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, crap. Oh, crap. You see what I mean? Like, it just, it doesn't do anything. Okay, good, good. Why is that one naked? Why are they all flailing on one another? Sauce is definitely, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, this is about how I'd picture myself going. <laughs> all right, how about this? We'll finish things off the old fashioned way. Mm, that's the good stuff. Here we go. Oh, not not the eyes. No, not not in the eyes. Come on now. I just want to get through enough so that I can actually win. Holy crap, why are these few zombies in the back so freaking tough? What's happening right now? Oh, oh, we got three more and I'm out of power. I wasn't gonna sucker punch you. No, you just keep hitting him with your Quaker Oats looking hat and I'm gonna stand over here in the goo. All those pieces sticking to the ceiling and falling down. <laughs> and tripping over them, stupid hats. I think I might be able to just... There we go, there we go, that's the good stuff. Okay, kick them when they're down. We can, we can finish the job. I think that's it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I was slightly helpful there. I'm gonna give myself credit, but I would have liked a weapon or two more. Our next level is called Psyophobia, which means the fear of shadows. Really interesting name for what's supposedly a stealth level. Like we very rarely see stealth levels in Paint the Town Red, but this should be the exact opposite of what we just did. I mean, we don't want to pick any fights. We don't want to be seen by anybody because these guys are going to be completely invincible. <laughs> so we're going to want to do our best to avoid the heavily guarded and well-lit front door now that I think about it. <laughs> Probably want to sneak in through the back. Okay, and I would imagine everything is green right now because we're wearing some kind of night vision goggles And you guys aren't so if it's dark then you really shouldn't be able to see me uh, Did he just see me? Am I losing my mind? Was that some kind of coincidence? Nope, not a coincidence. He can absolutely see me. At least he's got a bit of a Skyrim guard complex, so we don't need to worry about his memory. But his head's on a swivel, so like I, I can't just walk past him. Fortunately, I have even more stealthy techniques at my disposal. Real high-end stuff. Just like that, I'm practically invisible. I have no doubt that you won't hear me dragging my balls on the floor. Did you just hear me dragging my balls on the floor? Ah, they hear me dragging my balls on the floor. I knew I should have put on my tighter pants when I decided to be stealthy this morning. Like, there's no way I can walk between them. They're absolutely gonna see me. They're staring at me right now. So I'm thinking maybe we can kind of hardcore parkour our way onto their perimeter wall. No. What are you looking at? <gasps> you gotta be kidding me. Oh. Oh, I think this is the ladder that we used to get in here. This isn't gonna be any help. No, of course not. Maybe though? Maybe, maybe a little bit? No. Okay. We don't even have a point of entry. So what exactly do we have over here? A cigarette barrel. Not particularly helpful. I'm not trying to travel to flavor country. I'm just trying to get over this wall. You gotta be kidding me. I wish I had better spy hops. God, Sam Fisher could make that jump and do the splits at the top. Come to think of it, I don't technically have to be stealthy here, do I? Like, I could be loud and a pussy. It's the same end result. I just have to not fight them. Like, what if I do something like this? And then try to figure out where to go next. Because you guys can't climb or jump. Yeah, there we go. Now you can see me and my beautiful square ass as I leave you in the dust. All right. So, we have broken in. Hopefully they don't go telling anybody on me. What do we have here? Don't be seen. Yeah, a little late for that. It's normally situations like this where I would just use eeny, meeny, miny, mo to decide the right direction, but I get the feeling every single guard in this place would hear me. 
<laughs> so instead, I'm just gonna go right, because right is always right, unless they're staring right at me. Why would you be staring up into the air vent, sir? I'm just a hot gust of wind, don't mind me. Okay, I meant left. We, we clearly wanted to go left. Maybe? Okay, a little bit less active, interesting. And what did we have straight? Anything, oh, okay, we choose this one. Um, okay. I don't know how I feel about this. Honest question, how long until one of those angry schmucks outside manages to figure out where the front door is or glitch through a wall? Probably glitch through a wall. <laughs> I should probably get moving. I would imagine they're gonna be in here tipping off everyone soon. Yeah, I am crouching. Can't you hear my massive balls dragging on the ground? It's like an ax on concrete. <laughs> Why is this place so big? What exactly are you guys doing here? I have no idea what this is. Um, I don't even know what my objective is. That's the thing. It's just sneak around. No, 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 I frigging called it. Okay, well, stealth goes right out the window. What do we have behind door number one? Drugs, yes. Shotgun, yes. Can't get shotgun, yes. Frick, there's an invisible wall here. It's probably all the drugs. Okay, well, get juke, nerds. That's what all the stealthy boys say. Don't mind me, just gonna get running. Everything is fine, everything is fine. They, they're not on to me. They're not on anything, don't even worry about it. Spikes, spikes, oh, oh, here we go. There we go, suck it, spikes. Here, just uh, have a drink. I can hurt, oh crap, no, no, stupid spikes, you freaking dummies, come on now. That's, that's gonna be really helpful. Now, now, close, close, close. Good, good, ha <laughs> ha Yeah, let's see you guys hit those buttons or squirm through that. Now to try being a little bit more careful and not just with being seen, but also with the fact that there are no railings around here. And I don't know what this is. I think we're in some kind of giant booger sugar factory. That's, that's all concerning. I can probably make this jump, right? <laughs> oh yeah. I, I might have put, okay, ow, ow, oh, they figured it out. They heard my shins crack. Well, back to running, I suppose. <laughs> oh no. Uh, what is this? Can I, can I, nope, can't take that. And they shot my friend. Oh, bad. Uh, hello, old man. What is happening right now? Why are you chasing me with a shovel? I'm so confused. Shouldn't it be dark in here? I'm wearing night vision for no reason. This is completely useless. Oh no, I need a button. I need this button. Is this the button? I got the button. Okay, no, no, excuse me, excuse me. I'm assuming that turns off all the whirly blades. Okay, I missed and I'm dead. Okay, you know what? I'm not doing a whole lot of stealthing, so I don't really care what's at the end of this. Our next level is called Rooftop Assassin Part 1, Jefferson City. And judging by the title, I expected there to be some kind of story to this. Like a part of a sequential series, we would be some kind of rooftop assassin. I didn't expect there to be a pimp slowly sneaking up on me. Or this guy. I gotta say, Mo, there's a pimp sneaking up on you. I got him. Oh, I got a little on your face. I'm sorry about that. I was trying to give you some positive reinforcement. I was gonna say uh, that's some great toothbrush movement you got going there. And as we always say, choosers are for losers. Hey Mo, I think this guy might have had enough. Could you maybe stab him for me? Uh, or just let him sniff your butt? Dude, come on. I'm not trying to kick your boss in the face. He's just kind of running into my feet. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, get him, get him, get him, get him. Ow, Mo, come on, what's wrong with you? Don't you start, don't, okay, now he's just seeing people. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, I'll just rip this off the side of the building. What is with this? Am I here to assassinate you? Because if that's the case, that was a pretty easy target. Oh, ooh, that looks fun. What if we, uh, there we go. Now, stand up, 
Hold on. Uh, maybe, maybe a little. There we go. Now stand up. Could, could, could you stand up? Could you maybe stand up? He's dead, isn't he? Moe's dead too. Oh my god. Why do you guys have to ruin all my fun? Okay. Um, I think you guys aren't going to be getting your paycheck for the week considering your boss just got slap chopped. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Not a funny joke, is it? Well, fine. See if I care. <laughs> just go ahead and eat it. You know what? I've got other stuff to do. Like, this guy looks like he's in trouble. I, I could probably help him. This guy also seems like he's in trouble. That guy. That guy. What is going on with this rooftop? <gasps> I thought I was an assassin. Why? Are there so many people in trouble? There also seems to be some kind of rooftop party. Uh, hi guys, I brought a toothbrush if you guys brought your Nintendo Switch. Okay, well, I'm fine. Huh. Yeah, don't ask. You know what? One minute you're having a Nintendo Switch party on a rooftop and the next you're stabbing a giant man in the kidneys with a toothbrush. You know what? I'm just gonna keep switching it up until I find a level with something that I wanna hit. This is called Train 2 where I'm getting ready to rob a train, and I'm starting to think I might have chosen the wrong train. <laughs> if this is what the average passenger looks like, I have made a terrible mistake. And before you guys ask, yes, you can still rob a train even if it's modern day. It's a little bit harder because horses don't go like 200 miles an hour. <laughs> you know, you just kind of get on board and Find yourself lying low in the bunk bed in outhouse car. Before you know it, you can sit down and split a cigarette with Grandma? Grandma, your five o'clock shadow is really coming in strong. Why are there so many heavily armed and masked guards on this train? I think I chose the wrong train. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm always happy to see an armory, but... <laughs> Not when the armory can be wielded against me. Uh, okay, don't mind me, guys. No, no, I'm just looking for the bathroom. Nope, nope, still being completely indiscreet. I need a red key. Interesting. Who would have a red key? Didn't see one of those around. Oh, I might have some robbing compatriots. Right, are you guys waiting on top of the... No, they're having a dance party on the train. Okay, that's that's not actually helping anybody. Yeah, th this is the opposite of helping. <laughs> it's actually kind of dangerous. <laughs> you never know when somebody's just gonna kick a pimp off the front of the train. Oh, he got run over. Did you guys? Oh, you didn't like him. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go back in the train now and see if I can find myself something. Sorry to interrupt your meal here, folks. Uh, I don't suppose any of you have seen a red key around here, have you? I know I'm the odd man out in this group, but I, I'm, I'm new. I, I joined just yesterday. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm gonna grab the firearm that I was totally issued, just in case things go downhill. Still not seeing any red keys. <laughs> oh no. Well, we gotta find the front of the train eventually, right? Red key, oh, that's probably what's locked now that I think about it. Yeah, that would make sense. They don't want anyone going up and shooting the conductor in the back of the head, or not. <laughs> We've got a yellow key. That's not helpful, though. Wrong color. Uh, what's this button do? Nothing, apparently. <laughs> Who am I kidding? We're on tracks. Or, we're supposed to be, at least. I'd like to win just one time, so how about this? We're gonna set up shop here in the armory, because... There are some weapons that I can grab and some that I can't. It's gonna be right here, and anybody who wants a piece of me can line up. We're not gonna spray and pray. Just single burst fire. Y'all good? No. He's good. Okay, now he is good. No, sit down. Stop it. Ow, ow. Don't, don't get up, lady. What's wrong with you? Stop, stop hitting me with things. <laughs> you guys are so mean. Interesting. The two cards do not seem to have one another, at least not much. <laughs> the chaos won't spill over. Good to know. Holy crap, these friggin' doors. <laughs> Man, these assault rifles are crazy. It, it's just so much more powerful than any other gun in this game. Ah, crap. No, I want, I want more. I want, I want more, more, more. I want, I want more. Get, oh, come on. No, I don't want nunchucks. 
Come on! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I'm not gonna have nearly enough bullets for everyone in this. Uh, what? They're all right there. Look at that. So many of them. Nope, stop, 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 stop. Hi, no, no, crap, no, no, no. I'm, I'm dodging by bending over. As you can probably imagine, there are some congestion issues with fighting on a train, but that's honestly fine when it comes to using a double barrel shotgun. <laughs> I think you're dealt with? Yeah, okay. So now we have the conductor and friends. I don't suppose you guys could line up. I've only got like, one shot. Yeah, oh, come on. <laughs> Why did she eat all of it? Oh crap, no, no, stop, stop hurting me. Stop hurting me, we're cool, right, we're cool. I, I try to be friendly as I make their heads explode and it's, I, I just feel like it's the worst instinct. Why would anybody ever believe me? We're good, yeah, okay, perfect. Now we can just go to the locked levels with the key and then this train will be nice and clean. Uh, uh, rel relatively clean. Don't be like this. No, no, don't, don't be like this, okay? I know you guys are all hard union workers and you deserve benefits and, and healthcare and all that stuff. But all I brought is a foot and, and maybe a hammer? Was that, I thought there was a hammer. Where did the hammer go? Oh, there it is, there it is. See, I told you, I hold up to my promises. <laughs> Come on now, there we go. Okay, another cart down. Jesus, the stuff actually moving is getting to me, including the doors. <gasps> oh no. I gotta get the dance party off the roof at some point. And how am I gonna deal with this? I honestly feel like I can get way more kills with Berserk than I can Smite. Like, that guy didn't even get punched. <laughs> that guy got looked at the wrong way. Come on now, Crossbones, take a seat. He's not gonna die, is he? Is he invincible? There he goes, okay, I think he's dead. At the very least, I know what his brains taste like, so that's probably a big bonus. Come on, everybody just calm down. I wish I could punch faster. No, no, not, not faster like this. No, 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 don't hurt me. We can... Be friends! You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Paint the Town Red, guys. What an unmitigated disaster. <laughs> like, whether I'm a non-stealthy spy, or a non-lethal assassin, or a poor train robber, or myself, on all counts, things did not really go according to plan, but that's the nature of the game. Screw it. If you guys have any more levels you want to see me play, leave a comment, leave a like on the video, all that kind of stuff, and I'll return for more soon. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.